All right guys, so it's been a really busy week. I needed something to clickbait this video title with, so I'm gonna go over our tomato, cucumber, squash, zucchini, all, all the long-term uh, summer crops, those amendments, and how we make it, and how it feeds the plant all summer. So we got biochar mixed with compost. That's the Miramichi green product. Alfalfa meal, feather meal, azomite for micronutrients, some harmony, EM1, which is a microbe solution, endomycorrhizae, uh, seaweed, liquid seaweed, and a couple other things that um, is pretty unique to our climate, but I'm not gonna put that in this video because we're an actual business and not a YouTube channel, and I know some people will copy that here, so I'm not gonna put that in there. You mix, you put in the biochar, then you mix all the amendments with the biochar dry, and then you put water in there and you get it to a consistency where it's wet, like you can make a ball with it, maybe a little wetter. And what that does is it charges the biochar. So biochar, so it's like charcoal from the bottom of a fire pit and it's really, really, really porous. It's neutral. It will hold nutrients. It will hold biological life, all those things. And it makes it really easy for the plant to go in and get the nutrients from the biochar as opposed to working to get it from the soil. So it can give the plants everything that it needs really quick. A handful of biochar has the same surface area, like the porousness of it, has the same surface area as a tennis court. So the amount of nutrients of water, more importantly water, that that can hold is insane. So we've been growing tomatoes this way for three years and it's worked out really well for us. The only thing we do in between is some foliar ferts and we might try some fertigation this year. That's where you put like, we would put like seaweed in with the drip tape and feed the plants that way if they need it. So of course in the beginning we got our soil tests and did our and got our soils right chemistry wise and now we're focusing on the biological side. But for these long season crops they're gonna pull nutrients out of our already amended soil. So we're just giving them what they're gonna pull out and they seem to be really happy with it. So each plant gets like around a handful each and we dig the hole, put the plant in and then put the biochar mix, mixed it with the native soil next to the roots of the plant or the base of the plant and let it do its thing. Happy birthday, George. Thanks. Mold. 31. We've got a super busy day, busy week. So going back to finish this trellis, some weeding, hilling the potatoes, cultivating, transplanting, pruning, trellising, pretty much everything. Just like every week. If y'all are ever trying to join two ropes together for whatever reason, here's a cool way. So you have your string, make a loop, take this through the loop, around the string, back through the loop, and the harder you pull on this, the tighter it gets. So it's essentially a bowling knot, which I've shown before, just with two different strings to join them together. And this is just a regular bowling, tied really the same way, just with the same piece of string. So if you wanted to tie the bowling, you'd make the loop, go up through the loop, around, back down. Now you can do this. Make this a slip knot or something. It's good knots, stuff we use all the time. Here's those two knots that I just showed. This was one that I cut off before, so I just don't want to waste it. So now it's up here to start the trellis. Make that slip knot, go this way with it, and we'll just wrap the trellis, or wrap the rope around over the tomatoes. So if you buy a farmer's friend tunnel, they send you extra rope. So this is what we use for the trellising up top and you can pull it and make it tight. Like I've shown before in the trellis video, there's tons of different methods to trellis and stuff. Um, this is just essentially free because it's extra.
sign coming. Okay. I got the other side done. The other side sketched out? Yeah. Dang. It's kind of hard to see, but pine tree farm, fresh produce, Fridays, social media logos, parking. Luna's finally healed up. She's having a blast. What's up, buddy? You having fun? Rain day today, so can't really do any field work, so we're just gonna get an early start on harvesting. We can flip days that way. This is a light rain too, this is pretty nice. We're not used to these light rains. Second time we've been out to do this. I put the sump pump in the basement, pump it out. It's raining so hard that it just can't keep up. The drains can't keep up, so. <sighs> like five or six inches of rain just tonight. This is pretty ideal for the plants. It's like a quarter inch so far. Nice joy choy again? Yeah. Hey George, do you care it's raining? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Gotta let everybody know what. How the farm's going? Hey everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> Back once again up here at Cation Tour. Yeah, the farm's going good. I'm at that point now where I got the high tunnel up, uh, Got all my beds done. I got my outside beds done. I got, I did one. <laughs> I went old school because I went back to cantaloupe and watermelon. That's a staple when I grew up. So I got me a big cantaloupe uh, and watermelon honeydew patch. I'm at that point now, whereas I'm in what I, we call in the country in betwixt because of whereas I gotta now get with people to get the product out before I plant the product, before it all comes in and I got too much product. So it's that little, I'm not scared are, or anything. Are you going to a market? Huh? Are you going to a market? Well, I'm, I'm trying to come up there where Casey is up there. They got room up in there. In Charlotte? In Charlotte Farmer's Market. And then I'm looking at, because I've been an arborist for so many years and I got so many tree clients, I've been talking to our previous clients about what we're doing and they, they 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 seem to be interested. So it'll be a all kind of all skewed CSA. Cause my code word when y'all come on Instagram, when you come to look for me, the code word to get the T discount is what you got. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give you my fresh list, tell you what I got, and then you can just buy what I got. You make the Instagram yet? Not yet. Come on man. <laughs> Casey's gonna help me do my Instagram, y'all. Somebody help me. Cause I'm old school. I'm trying to even use these this raggedy phone system, but <laughs> see y'all down the road. Harvesting washing out in this cold rain. Can't beat that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that was an awkward laugh. <laughs> Definitely not editing that out. Come on. Hey, you're 30 fun years old now. Yeah, trying to embarrass an old lady. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice gold beets. Some more carrots. Changing the oil in the BCS. Change the oil on the four wheeler too. Typically organized tools. Ooh. That oil is bad. We run the four wheeler pretty hard, so. About 40 degrees outside, everything seems to be okay. Finish up harvesting today, get the rest of the greens, uh, spray some more head lettuce, the baby kale mix, and salad mix, arugula, stuff like that, and then wash it. Pack it. It's um, 
it's aphid season, so the aphids, you have to watch it extra, just the way it goes in the spring. Also gotta get more carrots. We gotta get some more radishes. Cucumbers. Probably some more garlic scapes. Almost done harvesting. Cooler's about full. Should I show those weedy beds? It's bad. Or should I go take a picture of something that looks perfect? All right guys, in plot 10, so the three new tunnels. So remember, um, I was talking about this weed purple violet. This stuff that was growing up in here. Well, why didn't we weed this tunnel at all? Because I know that we can still harvest what we need to and then we'll just tarp it and kill it that way. So I could have went through and with the girls and everybody and we could have came through the screwdrivers like we did in the carrot plot. That is gonna make more money anyways and that needed it more. So we did that over there. But you can see <laughs> how bad it is. It's really bad, but I've probably already gotten like almost 30 pounds of salad just from this little section here. So I can still harvest all the salad through here and then we'll just tarp it after. No big deal. That's to be expected when you're working with new land. So whatever. So no sense in beating yourself up. Welcome to working outside. You can see the difference in the carrot beds. We weeded these and then this bed was really bad. So we tarped it. Not much left. Another way around it, which is what we did here in the squash plot, was just put a weed mat down and plant into the weed mat. And that will wear out the energy in the root while the other plants grow. Got, got some strawberries for you. Nice. I eat the rest so you can have all these. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never make it to the market. I eat them all. <laughs> what you got left, George? Um, spinach, cucumbers, peas. Janie and Lilo will be here soon. So they can help with that. And I'm going to water the nursery and then help them. Sweet. I still got to get salad and um, carrots and arugula. Sign looks good. Thanks. How's the pre-orders going, George? Good. Looks. It's hard to move in here. Yeah. <laughs> we need more shelves. We do. Harvesting more carrots. I guess I am good for that still. So.